we present designing face masks for under-display cameras. Under-display camera is an emerging type of camera. It can capture high-quality photographs while the display is on and does not require dedicated place on the screen. However, building a high-quality under-display camera is not an easy task. Let's first look at the construction of an under-display camera. We have a lens and an image sensor observing a scene through the openings of the display. The display acts as an aperture on the lens, and it has features in the orders of tens to hundreds of microns. These features diffract light, which result in a large blur. Due to the small features on the display, the size of this blur kernel is large, often spanning hundreds of pixels in the image plane, which results in a severely blurred photograph. And this deblurring is further complicated by the low SNR of the captured image, since the display panel blocks a large portion of light. Here is an image captured under transparent OLED, which we call TOLED. Black region blocks light, which contains display subpixels and circuits, while white regions are transparent. Due to the one-dimensional openings on the display, we see severe diffractive blur in one direction. This large blur is also hard to deblur. Here is the image after deblurring using an iterative solver. We can see severe rainy artifacts all over the image. Can we redesign the hardware to suppress diffractive blur and allow more lights to pass through the display? Inspired by many successful examples of using face masks in various imaging systems, in this paper, we look into designing face masks for under-display cameras, specifically by inserting two face masks in front of and behind the display. We propose to insert two polarization-dependent microlens arrays with optimized heights. Let's first examine the effect of microlens arrays on the imaging quality. Both microlens arrays have the same focal length f, and the display is 1f away from both base masks. The incident wavefront is first concentrated by the first microlens array. Due to the thin waste of the concentrated wavefront, they pass through the display openings and the second microlens array then reverts this effect. Within some limits, this effectively renders the display transparent. It increases light transmission rate and shapes the wavefront that reaches the camera main lens to a better condition. As the incident angle increases, the focus point also shifts away from the center until it reaches an extreme angle. Any incident angle larger than the extreme angle is blocked by the display. Moreover, our design leaves the display quality uncompromised. Due to the polarization-dependent implementation, any light emitting from the display can pass through the face mask without being modulated. Detailed working principle is described in the paper. Polarization-dependent optical elements are only available in thin formats and thin face masks cause chromatic aberration. For example, face mask with a certain fixed height produces greenish image. We therefore optimize the height for each microlens to suppress chromatic aberration. The resulting image has more consistent performance across RGB channels. Here is the same scene captured under our setup. And here is the deep blurred image. We see much less rainy artifacts than that in TOLED. Here we show a side-by-side -side comparison between TOLED without and with the proposed face mask. Note that we are able to significantly improve the image quality of TOLED simply by adding face masks. Next, we compare our result with other displays. Penta OLED is another commonly seen on the market display. Since it has much lower light throughput than TOLED, it produces noisier image, and this artifacts becomes more apparent for dark regions. 
Yang et al. proposed to design display layouts specifically for under display cameras. While the resulting image quality is higher than us, they propose to use a random pixel tiling, which degrades the display quality, and their layout requires non-trivial engineering effort to redesign the display, while ours requires no change to the display openings and can keep the display quality high. Finally, we compare with the ZTE display, which is designed to accommodate on the display cameras. To allow better light throughput, they significantly reduce the display pixel densities, and the low densities produce apparent visual artifacts on the display. Please refer to our paper for more technical details and results. Thanks for watching.